What's up, people? Um, yes, the title of this uh, video here matters. Uh, you know, self-explanatory. You know, my my journey. You know, what I'm saying with uh fasting. Um, you know, I stress and stress over and over again, man. There is no uh magic pill. Um, I'm not. You know. You know, my last uh photo that you can see, uh, 2019. I'm not you know, contest ready. I'm not trying to prepare for a show or anything like that. Um, what motivated me to fasting, you know, I, I had a fatty liver, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I, I had issues with, uh, joint pain, you know, ro 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 rotator cuff issues, inflammation in the knees, you know, and so forth. You know, I was drinking a lot of Cokes, you know, two little bottle of Cokes, you know what I'm saying? Every day. It was mandatory. I had, you know, that I had to have a, you know, a two liter, two liter bottle of Coke. Um, I know I don't really interact with a lot of, uh, you know, uh, the YouTube or, you know, audience or people who see my videos. But y'all going to get a lot of uh, interaction, you know. Yes, I like to make music videos um, of me, you know, training. But. Anyway, not to get off the subject. The subject basically is about fasting. Um, fasting has changed my life. You know what I mean? Um, I get a lot of offers uh, from people through social media. No need to put their names out there, you know, to take gear or anabolic steroids or testosterone or whatever. I, you know, I don't need that. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not about, you know you know, doing that. I'm, I'm more about, you know what I'm saying? Just mental discipline, man. You know what I mean? Uh, going 24 hours or 48 hours, uh, in a fasted state and training in a fasted state and lifting in a fasted state. That's a challenge to me. You know what I mean? Um, and there are benefits in fasting. You know, I'm about autophagy where the body for one renews itself by eating old cells and, or, or renewing itself by eating old cells. Uh, I'm about, you know, cleaning up my skin. Fasting, for one, is is uh, known to promote, uh, clear, you know, clearing up the skin and so forth. Um, I'm stronger than I am. I'm stronger now than, you know, I was when I was, you know, younger, 28, 26, and so forth. Um, I learned how to fast, you know, while being incarcerated, you know, there were times when, you know, we didn't have access to go and, you know, go to the commissary window, or there were times when we were in the chow hall or mess hall eating our food or attempting to eat our food, we were told to go rack it up due to uh, certain situations or incidences that took place with inmates rioting and so forth. So, you know, I used the adverse situation to my advantage. You know, some inmates, for one, you know, they when they get depressed or they get angry, they just sit there and allow it to consume them from within. So what I did was I basically, you know, did push-ups, did, you know, body weight exercises, calisthenics, you know what I'm saying? All in a fastest state. Um, I think 2001, I uh, started uh, drinking black coffee. Uh, a friend of mine, you know what I'm saying? He was, you know, telling me that he'd drink black coffee right before he'd do his push-ups. I was like, man, I don't want to drink that shit. That shit is nasty. Well, come to find out, you know, a lot of the inmates, you know, in prison, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, trained fasted, you know what I mean? Due to either being locked down or, you know, not having, you know, commissary. So... Make a long story short, our pre-workout, you know what I'm saying, of course, was caffeine, you know, Colombian calf, black bag of coffee, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, um, you know, from 2001 to 2002, uh, all the way to 2011, you know, I came home, 
and the saga still continues. You know what I'm saying? I had stopped, uh, you know, fasting and started basically living life. You know what I'm saying? Came out here, picked up while, you know, left off, started eating a bunch of everything. You know what I mean? And, you know, I went from two, uh, no, I went from 170. When I came home, I was like 170. 180 pounds and I went all the way to two to went all the way to 240 pounds a little over 40 pounds 2017 you know I don't have no 2000 uh uh 15 photo uh, photos or 2011 photos I'd have to look them up but what you see in 2017 that's what I was you know, coming from or trans, I was basically in the process of going from that to what you see, uh, 2019. Am I satisfied? No, not yet. But again, I'm not doing this, you know, to try to get on the stage. I'm just basically doing this to prove, show and prove that intermittent fasting, fasting, whether it be 24 hour fast, 48 hour fast, 72 hour fast, fasting generally works. Now, you know, I did a video in response to Mike Dose, where he basically said that fasting was uh, a hoax, you know, you know, I beg to differ, you know what I mean? But uh, the thing about it is, give it a try, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you know, fasting is not the end all be all, but just give it a try. You know what I'm saying? If you're basically trying to clean your skin, if you're basically trying to defat or purge your liver or detoxify your liver, fast. Um, cut out, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the sugar, you know, you can eat it, but you have to know when to eat it and know how to eat it, you know what I mean, um, I was one of those individuals that was like, well, sugar is, is, is no good, and, you know, uh, beef is no good, you know, there's a lot of things that we consume, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, is not good when eaten in in, in, it, when eat, eaten in immoderately, moderation. Remember that word, moderation. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't eat beef every day, but I eat beef. You know, I eat chicken. I eat a lot of rice. Um, the other night, um, I did an extra large pizza mukbang. You know what I mean? So I know a lot of people are gonna be like, "Well, damn, you know, how is it that you stay, you know?" We, how is it that you're able to have visible abs and eat that eat that way? It's simple. I go, I eat every 24 hours. Um, and yes, I have done a video where I say said, "Fuck protein shakes." I'm not dependent on protein shakes, but I break my fast now um, with a uh, uh, a whey pro whey protein isolate. Um, the reason why I started drinking protein, whey protein again is because uh, I wanted, you know what I'm saying, uh, something to be fast and digestible that will enter my bloodstream quick and fast. You know what I mean? So, you know, there are days when I train, whether it be deadlift, squats, pull-ups, um, my body feels like shit the following day. Some days I may go three or four or five days, especially when doing uh, legs. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yes. I eat every 24 hours. Um, <clears throat> I eat a lot of rice. You know what I'm saying? I eat a lot of fast digesting, you know, carbohydrates. You know what I'm saying? To help replenish my body so I can be prepared the following day for my next workout event. But, uh, again, um, you know, don't knock fasting, man. Fasting has been around since the dawn of time. You know what I mean? Uh, I also, you know, have, you know, gained a lot of benefits in becoming more uh, receptive, more empathic, uh, thinking clearly, uh, cognitive, uh, uh, my cognit cognizance and, you know, uh, thinking is, you know what I'm saying, a lot clearer. You know what I'm saying? The mind, a lot clearer. But, um, yeah, man, uh, I'm living proof, man, it works, you know what I'm saying, so give it a try, um, I'm not saying that fasting, I'm not saying one meal a day is all, it's the end all be all, I just do one meal a day because it's a challenge to me, I go all day, uh, 
in a fasted state from the time I get up. Um, I don't break my fast until the 24th, 24th hour. I don't make it, you know, extremely difficult. And I mean, I'm able to maintain, you know, uh, some strength and I'm able to maintain size. You know what I mean? So, yes, I'm going to be making a follow up video on what I take, uh, particularly um, uh, coffee, water. And I just started, you know, what I'm saying supplementing every now and then with creatinine. So uh, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, man, he contradicted himself. Not necessarily so. You know what I mean? I'm, you know, not when I say I'm natural, I don't take anabolics. I don't take steroids uh, due to certain situations. And even if I wasn't in those situations, I don't need to take that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie to, you know, the public. And there's a lot of young people for one that look up to, uh, individuals like myself. So, you know, I have a grandson, I have a grandniece, I have a, you know, biological son and have a lot of young people from one that are looking up to me as well as, you know, you have a lot of people that are looking up to you. So keep it 100, keep it real. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is, yo, straight up and down. But anyway, I will be, you know what I'm saying, uh, commenting. If you have any questions, if you want to know, you know, you can go to my Instagram, uh, Lava Bottom Fitness, uh, or just Lava Bottom. Or if you have any questions, you know, you want some, some answers, you can ask me, you know, in the comments below, straight up and down. Um, yeah, man, uh, as fast and as the truth, man, straight up and down, you know what I mean? And, uh, it helps, it also helps keep you young and it, it helps your body promote HGH, human growth hormone. So on all my videos, every last one of them that you see, particularly the deadlifts, it's in the fastest state. It's on one meal a day, straight up and down. But anyway, y'all, much love. Peace.